Here I'm going to go over some basic tire information that may involve some things that you've seen but maybe not have appreciated what is actually there on a tire. So starting with the components of a tire, well, a tire composed of linear sidewall rubber, beads, belts, and tread rubber, and there's several layers composed of them. So this helps give them their strength, helps give them their shape, and helps allow them to stay flexible. Um, so again, there's a lot of different components, a lot of different kind of layers, but we're mainly looking at sidewall rubber, beads, and belts, and tread rubber being the main components there, but some may even include some steel belts to help give them rigidity and strength. Now the tread elements, so if we're looking at the exterior of the tire, there's grooves which go around the tire. We have slots which are transverse uh, to the tire. We have a swipe which are the small little grooves. If you look here, they're located right here to be considered the swipes. And we also have something called a tread wear indicator. And these are raised bars that indicate the tread wear. And they're located uh, not mainly in all components of the tire, but if you rotate it through and look closely, you will find some tread wear indicators um, on tires on maybe even your car. So these impressions and tracks, well, we have the tire impressions that are the tread design and dimensions of the tire. We have the tread tracks, which are related to the dimensions of related to the wheels. So it's important to take these into consideration as well as with some of the exterior components when you're trying to identify a particular tire or make a match. Something you may not have realized is that there's something called a noise treatment to tires. So tires don't have the exact same pattern that repeats equally throughout the entire circumference of the tire. By mixing the design elements, manufacturers can impact the amount of noise a tire may generate. If tire designs were exactly repeated around the tire, unwanted noise would occur to kind of create a wallow, especially going down the highway. Alternating small, medium, large lengths create different pitches, and this helps reduce the overall noise. We can see that indicated here where we have these kind of different kind of elements of different lengths in, uh, inserted around the tire tread to help reduce the noise it's, that it's given. We also have those things called, I mentioned, tread wear indicators. So uh, if you look at this tire, you may not see them initially, but I highlighted them here, little arrows. Um, they are located on the tire, and they're little wear bars. And they're basically a rubber bar that's raised about 1 16th above the base of the grooves of the tire. And the DOT requires six tread wear indicators. So because there's, quote, only six, if you look at one particular small spot of the tire, you may not see it. So you may have to rotate the tire or look at a different portion. As the tread wears down, these will become noticeable, and and offer an indication for replacement. We also have, when we're looking at tires, we're looking at something called original and replacement tires. So this can get into when we're trying to identify or match a car to a crime scene. Uh, original equipment, OE tires, they're sold on new cars. Thousands of cars have the same brand and size. Then we have something called replacement tires, and they're purchased to replace old worn tires, typically different than the original equipment tires. And there's a whole bunch of different tires that you can select from if you're looking at replacing tires. And then lastly, we have retread tires. So sadly, probably familiar with seeing this on the highway where the retreads will break off. But retread tires are primarily used for commercial or fleet vehicles in the United States. Two types of retread processes, there's a mold cure process and there's a pre-cured process. Some retread tires have uh, valuable individual characteristics which provide information to the examiner. What they basically are, just as the name implies, they're a new tread uh, that has been put on an existing or older tire. Sadly, because of this process, they could break down down, uh, especially with the heat of being on the highway and end up as a hazard um, along the road. Uh, but be mindful that these retread tires have new tread but are on older or potentially original tires.